leads to knowledge and experience. We are going for a higher practice which involves knowledge, understanding and practice. Now casually bring your mind on the neck joint. So when I say move your mind on the neck joint or be aware of the neck joint, you are just mentally aware. You know. You feel. So when you know and feel, you see you are not doing anything. It's all knowledge, understanding. The moment your mind will push you to do something, you will miss the practice. So it gives you a clarity and understanding. So looking at the neck joint, being there, feeling, sensation, comfort, and steadiness. The mind always likes to be settled in the comfort, and that's what we are doing as a first step. So then looking or being aware of the shoulder joints being there. So when I say being there, understand it clearly. It means you are just looking, you are aware, you feel. So when you feel, you have a conscious experience of sensation, comfort and steadiness. What we are doing, we are moving the mind within. What it means we are moving the mind, or we can say we are transcending the mind beyond the body and the world. So what will happen? We will be able to discover the peace and the joy within. You may experience some tingling, some numbness. Don't move. They are good indications of the mind moving within. So move the mind on the hip joint, be there. Be there, feel. So as you see that, be there, feel, understanding. And then we experience sensation, comfort, and steadiness. We strengthen our mind with an understanding again. You are sitting in a comfortable position of the body. The first step is we ask the body to be settled comfortably. Why we are repeating in order to experience the deepening of the sensation so that this mind should not forcibly go out. So look at the neck joint, be there, feel sensation, comfort and steadiness. The mind Shoulder joints, be there, feel sensation, comfort, and steadiness. Hip joint, mind goes there, you feel sensation, comfort, and steadiness. The entire body, sensation, comfort, and steadiness. So 
So when we succeed in maintaining an experience of sensation, comfort and steadiness in the body, what it indicates? It indicates the mind continues to live within and moving within. Any movement, any fidgeting indicates the mind wants to rush outside. You may feel some tingling in the numbness. Let it be so. Now look inside the head in the space. So you see the space, maybe some thoughts will come. Then again, there is a space. You may have a feeling, you know, the, this, this is natural, so we need not to worry about it. What is our understanding here in the second step when I said be carefree? So carefree means free from all the cares. Who cares? The mind, how it cares. It invites unwelcome, uninvited thoughts, memory, images. So now question comes, what should we do? We should do nothing. These thoughts, take them as a traffic on the road and you are standing across. What it means here? It means the thoughts are coming and going like a traffic and you are aware, you are separate from it. You dissociate any thought, good, bad, high, low, thought enters the mind. You watch, you witness, you see them, they are coming and going like the traffic. And you are not disturbed, you are not agitated, you are not carried away by these thoughts. That is the meaning of being carefree. Any thought, good, bad, high, low, comes and goes, you will find out if you step back. There are many words. You dissociate, you step back, you see you are simply observing, you are an observer. So these thought comes and goes, you don't get carried away. When you get carried away, you forget yourself. You forget yourself, the mind becomes impulsive and instinctive and habitual. And there we stall the progress. So we have another way to deal with these thoughts. We don't pay attention to any unwanted, unwelcome thoughts, but we introduce a thought by the mantra. Mentally, you can even recite after me, Sarvesham Swastir Bhavatu Sarvesham Swastir Bhavatu Sarvesham Swastir Bhavatu. Who oh, I'm asking you to chant mentally the Sanskrit words, the brain receives with greater attention any new word. That is one reason. There are many other reasons. So now we'll go for the meaning. Meaning is let there be a well being for all. Now we are contemplating. You know, as the unwanted thought comes, we get upset. So we say, okay, let us replace the thought. So replacing you are thinking. What is the meaning? Meaning is let there be a well-being for all. 
So well-being for every living species on the earth, from the mosquito to the elephant to the tiger to the human race to our friends and relations. So what is the knowledge hidden in it? That everyone is seeking the well-being, everyone. So what is the knowledge and understanding uh, is in the Eastern wisdom? Eastern wisdom says that state of the well-being can be attained by moving the mind within. It cannot be attained as long as the mind is scattered. That understanding should settle in your mind. What will happen any, every, any day you retire, you go to the bed and the mind will recognize the importance of moving the mind within. Within few minutes you'll fall into sleep. Sarvesham shantir bhavatu Mentally say, Sarvesham shantir bhavatu Sarvesham Shantir Bhavatu. Meaning is, let there be a peace for all. Now see that. What the Eastern wisdom is guiding the mind. It says, let there be peace for everyone is seeking peace in the world. Human race, living beings. But peace is a common factor. Everyone loves peace. So what is the point of learning here? Understanding that the peace is our essential nature. It is within us. Maybe your relations wants to be in peace through the anger. Not possible. Through hesitation. Not possible. Through a drink. Not possible. But after all, we follow the Eastern wisdom. So we always remember this. Sarvesham Puranam Havatu Sarvesham Puranam Havatu Sarvesham Puranam Havatu Purana means let there be a wholeness in all. You have read a lot of Christianity, holiness, wholeness. So here we are using wholeness, holiness, completeness. That is what the real self is. That is what the pure consciousness is. And that is present in all the living beings. Oh, you see, that is present in all the beings. And we can discover that moving the mind within living within. Sarvesham Mangalam Bhavatu Sarvesham Mangalam Bhavatu Sarvesham Mangalam Bhavatu So this means that let there be an auspiciousness for everyone. Auspiciousness means what? One example. Peace and happiness and the joy is present in all locations, with everyone, in all relations. It means I'm living in an auspicious moment. Now see, we have done the three steps, being comfortable, being carefree, and replacing the thought with a mantra. We did it with an understanding, you might be feeling the state of the calm, peace, as long as the mind continues to live within.
because the mind does not listen to us for long. After a few minutes, the mind keeps on dragging us. No, no, I feel uneasy. Ah, it wants, it falls into unconscious sleep. So we have to maintain that awareness. At the same time, we have to purify the mind. So look at the breath. The <coughs> breath goes in and out. Make your breath a little deeper. As you inhale, very silently into the belly, then into the ribcage, you breathe out from the belly, from the ribcage. Make sure that your breath is harmonious, rhythmic. So what happens if your mind is alert and attentive, understanding, we are doing it. So when your mind is alert and attentive and you are doing the deep, silent and slow breathing, it will raise your level of awareness. And that will help you to purify the mind. So when you see as you inhale, now you will find the body will freeze down. You'll feel an extreme tingling sensation when we do this Nyasa practice. So how to do that Nyasa? As you inhale, the mind moves inside the right arm from the shoulder to the fingertips, singing mentally, Om Shanti. As you exhale, the mind moves from the fingertips to the shoulder in the space inside, singing, Om Shanti. I'm using the semi-active practice. I'm not using the totally active practice. So you see that if the mind objects to it, you persist, you maintain that. I'm explaining again. As you inhale, you move the mind inside the right arm in the space from the shoulder to the fingertips, singing mentally, Om Shanti. Om Shanti means I am the peace. As you exhale, the mind moves from the fingertips to the shoulder in the space. You keep looking into the, why we look into the space? To get rid of the unwanted, unwelcome thoughts, feeling and images. Why we keep the mind on the space inside? To keep the body steady, comfortable. To maintain our awareness, to continue to live within. You inhale, the moment you start inhaling, and that breath is deep, silent and slow, there is no noise. No noise at all, my friend. You will start feeling some tingling sensation and some numbness, freezing, cold in the heart. You need not to move it. Just accept that and recognize these changes are bound to come. Deeper the changes, better it is. Now move the mind inside the left arm. When you move, the moment you start inhaling, move the mind inside the left arm from the shoulder to the fingertips, looking into the space and singing 
Om Shanti. And when you exhale, the mind moves from the fingertips to the shoulders. In the space inside, singing Om Shanti. You have also to notice that as you inhale or exhale, you start moving the mind inside the left arm. You will start feeling sensation increases. And that sensation becomes, converts into numbness, tingling, freezing, heat and cold, lightness. Sometimes it becomes very light. So just watch and observe. Deep, silent, and slow. We are doing a semi-active practice, which is definitely a higher practice. We are doing inside the left arm at this time. Breath goes in, mind moves inside the left arm, singing Om Shanti. Now inside the right leg, we don't change, we don't move the right leg as we inhale. The mind starts moving, becoming aware of the right side of the waist, then inside the thigh, knee, calf, ankle, toes, Om Shanti. You will start feeling it as if some energy movement is there. And as you exhale, the mind moves from the toes to the right side of the waist, singing mentally, Om Shanti. So you're singing Om Shanti and the deep breathing and the mind moving in the space will awaken you to the energy. And that energy is known as the prana. Prana is the first unit of energy. why we are doing there are many reasons but one major reason where the prana goes there the mind goes where the mind goes there the prana goes what it means we are merging the prana and the mind together but why we are merging to rise in consciousness to find the higher state of the consciousness That breath is always rhythmic, deep, silent, and slow. The body remains in the state of sensation and steadiness. So only we are changing the major part, we are changing our attention on the major parts of the body. Yes, sometimes the mind wants to go out and it says, no, 
I want to stretch, do nothing. These are the different excuses the mind plays with us. You persist, you maintain, so that your mind can go deeper within. and recognize and accept and welcome new changes, feeling of numbness and tingling and freezing. No need to worry. Now move the mind inside the left leg from the left side of the waist as you inhale. The mind moves inside in the space and as it moves you start singing Aum the mind reaches to the toes as you exhale the mind moves from the toes inside singing Aum mentally you're singing so you're replacing you're not allowing the other thoughts to enter into the mind. You're looking into the space. The mind is moving within. You're keeping the body steady and calm. So you are preventing the mind to go out. We are using almost all the resources. What is most important is to maintain that awareness and attention. So if you maintain your awareness and attention, that goes a long way. Um, so when you are singing Om Shanti, here at the same time you are aware of the breath going in and out. You are aware of the space. You are aware of the steadiness in the body. And it becomes a joyful. Check if the mind resists. If it is resisting, keep on doing it. The mind drops that resistance. Deep silence, slow. Breath goes in and out. Om Shanti continues. You are absorbed into the inner space within. So that patience, you know, that commitment in the mind should be present. And you have that. Now move the mind inside the spine from the crown of the head to the tailbone. As you inhale, move the mind from the crown of the head, reaching to the tailbone inside, singing Om Shan. As you exhale, the mind rises from the tailbone, moves into the spine, reaching to the crown of the head and singing Om Shanti. When we have a sufficient purity of the mind, we start feeling a lot of vibrations along the spine. Uh, that's a good sign that the mind has started living with it. Um, shanti. Deep silence, slow breath continues, body remains steady. Om Shanti continues in the space inside the spine.
Understanding is simple. Master reveals the secret where the prana moves. So deep silence, low breath. There you are moving the energy in the spine. There the mind moves. So we are bringing the mind together so that it starts moving naturally. Where the mind moves, there the prana moves. Chale vate chalam chittam nishchale nishchalam bhave. Yogi sthanuttamapanoti tato vayum nirodhaye. So what happens? The mind and the prana merges. It goes deeper within. It discovers that peace within. And now leave that step, no movement in the body. Look inside the heart in the space. So when you see the in the heart in the space, move the mind deep inside. Singing Om. So when you are singing Om, as if you are entering into an emptiness. And then drop Shanti and do nothing. So when you do nothing, find that state of emptiness. Emptiness or nothingness. So one is projected nothingness caused by the mind. That will make your mind return again to any thought. But if it is a real emptiness, your mind is absorbed. You're not doing anything. So what happens? Our master says, how long we can stay in that state of emptiness? But why we do we have to stay in the state of emptiness? So that the knowledge, the real self, will reveal itself in the mind.
Shanti 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 Take your time, bring your mind on the right hand, your mind on the left hand. Lift your both the palms, place it on your eyes. Open the eyes inside. Know your experiences. Bring the hands down. How are you? Good. <sighs> Calm, relaxed. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, no. funny. It's, it's funny. It's funny, like, like time. Well, well, we, we can, can talk. talk. I, I would love, love to hear. I would, I would love, love to. I would love, love to know, know your, your opinion, opinion of time. Because. Time, time is, is a weird, weird like, concept, concept because, because there's, there's, there's like, like when, when you and, and I, I do that, that like, like it feels like ten minutes. minutes. It, it, it feels like ten minutes, minutes but yeah, yeah it, it was fifty minutes. minutes. Yeah, like, like there's, there's times, times where, where I'm, I'm, I'm like, like running, running and, and I think it's only been like forty-five minutes.